place is beautiful. Look at all these paleontologists. I know, there are gonna be some pasty folks by the pool tomorrow. Oh my God, I can't believe you're here. I think I've been recognized, this happens all the time. Dr. Geller, I am such a huge fan. Well, that never happens. I've been following your career for years. I, I can't wait for your keynote speech. Wow, this is very flattering. Uh, I would love your autograph. What, uh, sure. <laughs> um, dear... Sarah. Sarah, I dig you. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Ross Geller. Oh, thank you so much. Sure. Oh, and Sarah, uh, I'd like to introduce you to my colleague, uh, Professor Wheeler. And, uh, and this is Joey Tribbiani. Are you a paleontologist? No, God, no, no. No, no, uh, I'm an actor. You probably recognize me from a little show called The Days of Our Lives. Dude, it's, it's just Days of Our Lives. There's no the. <laughs> okay, Ross. Oh, you, Ross I have sex with dinosaurs. <laughs> I believe I read that somewhere. Not only is it not funny, it's physically impossible, okay? Depending on the species, I'd have to have a six foot long. It's not funny. I respectfully disagree. I can't believe you put that on my alumni page. Who cares? Nobody reads those things. Well, you better hope not, because I just read what you put on your page today. I don't have a page. Oh, 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 I respectfully disagree. <laughs> And it was Ernst Molbrat who first hypothesized that the Velociraptor, when threatened, would expand its collar and emit a high-pitched noise to frighten off its predator. Yes, Mr. Lewis? What kind of noise? Just a high-pitched, intimidating noise. But like how? Well, we, we don't know for sure. But in my head, it, it sounded something like this. Of course, this is just conjecture. Mm, okay, that's uh, that's all for today. Um, uh, maybe maybe because of my father. Mm. <laughs> I mean, um, you know, when I was growing up, he was kind of a tough guy. You know, I, and as a kid, I wasn't the athlete I am now. <laughs> I play squash. <laughs> anyway, I, um, I always got the feeling he thought I was too sensitive. That must have been hard. It was hard. <laughs> I remember I, I was in my bedroom playing with my dinosaurs. <laughs> playing and learning. <laughs> and my father walks in and says, he says, what are you doing with those things? What's wrong with you? Why aren't you, why aren't you outside playing like a, like a real boy? But you are a real boy. I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> and when it's summer and it's hot, why can't you wear a tank top? <laughs> oh, thank you, Chandler. This is so great. She's going to love me. Oh. Hey, dinosaur attack. Quick, everybody into the house. Ah! All right, Phoebe, you know what? That, that, that's it. That's it. All right? No dinosaurs, no ghosts, no giant dogs, okay? They're not the right size, they're not Victorian, and they just don't go. Okay. Fine. Come, dinosaur. We're not welcome in the house of no imagination. Uh, Phoebe, while we're hovering around the subject, I just have to say that dinosaurs, they, they don't go rough. The little ones do. Ross, I feel terrible. You know what? You can go. I just have to fill out some forms. You, uh, you, want, you want me to help you with that? Why? Does it look like I'm having trouble with my misshapen claw? <laughs> Name. 
No, I know Ross, but what's it short for? You know, like, like Russell. <laughs> or, or, or Rustifer. <laughs> That's Ross. It's pretty. <laughs> okay, date of birth. You know my birthday? Sure. May... September... <laughs> October 18th. Occupation. Dinosaurs. <laughs> Actually, I'm a paleo... Dinosaurs is fine. <laughs> the drawing is not. Here you go. You can pay me back whenever you like. You have dinosaur checks? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you get your money and you learn a little something. What's wrong with that? Nothing, nothing. Hey, you're a cheapasaurus. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Um, does everybody hate these shoes? Oh, yeah. But uh, don't worry. I don't think anybody's going to focus on that as long as you're wearing that towel dress. <laughs> Tell him. It's her first day at this new job. You're not supposed to start with her. All right, I suppose I can wait a day. <laughs> hey, what are you doing Friday? Why? I need you to come to this bachelor party for my weird cousin Albert. You know, he's the, uh, the botanist. Oh, God. Yeah, botanists are such geeks. <laughs> yeah. Is that a dinosaur tie? Hmm? Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm, this cake is amazing. Mm. Oh my God, get a room. <laughs> I would get a room with this cake. I think I could show this cake a good time. <laughs> if you had to, what would you give up? Food or sex? Sex? Seriously, answer faster. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. No, when she said sex, I wasn't thinking about sex with you. <laughs> it's like a giant hug. <laughs> Ross, how about you? Which would you give up, sex or food? Food. Okay, how about um, sex or dinosaurs? Oh my God, it's like Sophie's Choice. Hey, Ross, doesn't Ben go to Smithfield Day School? Yeah, why? Sting has a son that goes there too. Yeah, I know, he's in Ben's class. You knew this and you never said anything with all the stupid dinosaur stuff you tell us? Fine, no more dinosaur stuff. Can I talk about fossils? 